Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I am Lucian Chang from uh, Alibaba Group. I'm glad to share our work about the deep unified representations for heterogeneous representations. Uh, firstly, let me introduce the background of heterogeneous representation. In the age of information explosion, we could represent many kinds of items to users, such as products, news, movies, or videos. Uh, for example, in the Taobao, uh, we recommend the service videos, uh, products, and the uh, advertisements. And uh, in Doba apps, uh, the item could be books, movies, and mu and music. But there are three main challenges here. Firstly, the item had different uh, attributes. Sometimes the future of items are in different distributions. But in the same future space, it is also called the cross-domain recommendation. And in our work, we aim to solve a more difficult problem. Here, the attributes are in different future space. Besides, the objective could be also different, and the code staff problem uh, become more important. Here is the framework of our model. We use a typical two-tower architecture here, and the left side is a part of item representations. For heterogeneous items, we construct a multiple uh, mapping functions here and uh, transform them into a unified future space. Then contact them with uh, uh, user futures and uh, interaction futures. After that, uh, we feed them to the results layer to obtain the final prediction. And the main problem here is how to learn the unified representation. There are three key points here. Firstly, we want to align the different kinds of items in the unified future space. In other words, we want to minimize the dissimilarity of different distributions of different kinds of items. Therefore, the first step here is to embed the distribution to a, a reproducing kernel Hilbert space and use MIMAP with RBF kernel to obtain their representations. And we can see here, uh, mu is the uh, mean map and uh, kappa is the uh, RBF kernel. Then we measure the dissimilarity use the distribution of variance here and uh, G, G is the grand matrix. Um, it is a matrix of distance between distributions. Uh, and uh, VHP here is the distribution of variance. It is the uh, measurement of dissimilarity uh, between these distribu distributions. And to uh, invest, investigate this further, we propose the alignment loss here. And uh, the alignment loss is A here, and uh, I, J is the index of distributions and KL is the dis, uh, index of samples in their distributions. Finally, we just uh, minimize the alignment loss so we could uh, alignment all these features in the unified uh, future space. Uh, secondly, we want to preserve the topology of the origin space for the real future of each kind of items. So we propose the topology loss here. Uh, we modify the core loss. Core loss is a uh, loss that uh, is used widely in CV problems. And here we modify them. Uh, it is defined as the distance between the second order statistics. And the topology loss here, DR, is the uh, uh, DR is the samples uh, in the old space, and the D, DX, DX here is the uh, uh, samples. Uh, the representation of samples in the new space and also the unified space. Um, after that, we could obtain the uh, covariance matrix CR and the CX here. And uh, finally, we define the topology loss as the matrix norm of these two matrix. So we got the topology loss T here. And at last, we model the recommendation as a, as a classification loss here. So we need a classification. Uh, here we use the binary cross entropy loss here. And the, the overall objective function is L equals C plus alpha A 
plus beta t here and uh, alpha beta uh, hyperparament we could uh, turn it in the late experiments. So to test our models, we have designed extensive experiments in the Doban data sets. Uh, this data set contains three types of items, uh, books, music, and uh, movies. In this data set, our model named duration here outperforms all of the baselines, including uh, general models, contextual models, and the sort of heterogeneous models. We have try have implements about 11 baselines here and uh, uh, our model is pretty cool here. And besides, we also applied our model in a real world large scale online recommendation system. In this scenario, there are four types of items. They are merchandise, uh, videos, QAs, and the articles. Uh, in this setting, the DAU, uh, DAU is a daily active user. The DAU here is about 6 million every day and uh, compared with our online baseline. Our on online baseline is uh, uh, CCCS net based models and uh, uh, but it is enhanced CCCF net uh, with attention merchandise. So after all our model, we have tested them for about one month and uh, uh, after all our model contributes uh, to contribute to 6.7% uh, CTR and 4.3 uh, uh, PV and uh, about 1.7 UV. Uh, we also conduct some experiment to demonstrate how uh, this, these loss terms affect the learning of the unified representations, especially the alignment loss and the topology loss to uh, validates the necessity of the these two laws. Uh, we have remo removed them and uh, test our model. The results here show that uh, the model without A and T, the AOC score drops from uh, 0. Uh, 0. 0.80 to 0. 0.79 in the full data set. Since the cost size problem is one of the most significant challenges in the recommendation system, we also test the performance of our models in the cost size settings. And the, in these settings, we have seen that the alignment loss and the topology loss is more important. If we remove them, the AOC will decrease from uh, 0 0.67 to 0 0.64 in the code starting settings. Um, besides, we have visualized the item at different types using the uh, TSNE algorithm here uh, in the light. Uh, you can see the left set here and uh, the up, up part is uh, a model without alignment loss. And here is a, a model with alignment loss. We can see that the al alignment loss improves the smoothness of the integration among the uh, distinct uh, distributions. Uh, also, we have tested the necessity of the topology loss. We have designed uh, experiments. Uh, first, we classed uh, the samples before and after the uh, transformation. The transformation is uh, before and after we uh, mapping them to the unified uh, future space. And the cal uh, calculation, the uh, uh, micro pair was F1 scores. And we have found that the uh, remove, removing topology loss, the F1 score will decrease remarkably here. So, okay, that's all for today's uh, presentation. And thank you for watching. And if uh, anyone have any questions. Oh, also, uh, we have uh, upload our code to GitHub, so you can uh, scan this QR code to to see our code here. Thanks for the presentation. Any questions?
then I want to ask one first. Uh, do you use any sequence information during the representation? Uh, uh, actually, no. I, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. In, in this setting, um, uh, in the in here in the uh, public data sets, because we don't have the screenshot information of the users, so we don't test any uh, models in the screenshot recommendations. But in the online A/B tests, the baseline is a screenshot model which we use attention to extract the user the user representations. Which one is the baseline here in this table? Uh, baseline uh, CCCFNet, but we uh, uh, add some attention-based models here. I see. Just, yeah, just want to share from my experience that if people try to use a transformer to predict the next one, next action or next item, uh, if you tune that carefully using a long sequence, usually the performance is uh, also good. Yes, 